Now, beloved within the Seventh-day Adventist Church, beloved in the Seventh-day Adventist Church, and other Christian denominations, other Christian denominations, and even other religions, this is a prophecy about the Bible. This is a prophecy about the Bible, about Russia fighting the Ukraine. Russia fighting the Ukraine. Now, here recently, there's a war um, in which Russia has invaded Ukraine to um, annex the Crimea back into its property. After many years of uh, it being um, annexed by um, the powers of Europe or um, NATO and, and the U.S. government, the United Nations is going to the satellite power of Europe and the papacy. Well, beloved within the Adventist Church um, and other Christian denominations, think with me. Daniel 2.41 says the ten toes shall not cleave together. And um, the Pope wants all the nations to cleave together under his political and military might. And we know the U.S. will be the last power of military might in his ass days of, of all the world. So the most strongest military power. We know England, England is one of the richest. We know the Catholic Church is, 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 a very, is very religious. All the nations of the world get their religion from the papacy. And, um, but Daniel 2.41 says... That all the nations will never come together under a worldwide dominion like in ancient Babylon, or in um, did, or in, or in, or Medo Persia did, or in Rome did, or in um, Greece did. The ten toes will not cleave together. So those ten European tribes will not cleave together on, under any isolated political power. Now we do know that um, the, the the ten tribes or nations of Europe will give their power to the beast for one hour for. In the space of fortune in old days, or that one hour, fortune in old days in the last days, economically and, and militarily and, and spiritually, but we do know that it's not going to be it's not going to be a political thing. It's going to be a religio political thing. Also, beloved, when you study um about Russia, Russia was um connected with with the Ottoman Empire, and Turkey. Was was the, was the new name of the of the ancient Ottoman Empire? The ancient Ottoman Empire was actually taken over by act by European powers in August 11, 1840. They fell August 11, 1840. But I've studied this Bible doctrine book today, and it said that Russia, those those powers that broke away from Russia, will embarrass Russia in the last days. It's prophetic, beloved. Lift up the trumpet, loud that it ring. Jesus is coming again. Matthew 24 says. See all these things here for nations arise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. So um, Christ, when telling his disciples about the second coming, um, first told them about the destruction of Jerusalem and then told them in the last days, nations arise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And then this is the beginning of sorrows. So what, what have we been having recently? We've been having pestilences. We've been having COVID. COVID was prophesied by David Gates and Arthur Branner's ministry, starting off in COVID-19 draconian measures, spring 2019 with the uh, climate action now crisis, and then second spring 2020 with the COVID-19 crisis and the measures of um, not rights, you can't freedom, peaceably, freedom of, peaceably assemble in large crowds, you can't freedom of speech to go on social media and talk about these things, um, you can't uh, travel from state to state freely like you used to be able to without COVID tests, um, now the COVID shots and mass 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 schools and cities and in and, 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 and schools and public places and also in homes, private places. Um, so that that's the crisis around um, climate climate measures or um, that's the crisis around pestilences. So now we have wars, rumors of wars. So we have pestilences, wars, rumors of wars. And so the destruction of Jerusalem, Greg Hans for destruction of Jerusalem says, um, that uh, Jerusalem, the Jerusalem will be surrounded by armies. So what's the next? The very next thing is after the sons of law crisis, the Jerusalem centers like Oakwood, Andrews, Southern will be surrounded by military might. The cities will be surrounded by military might. We need to get out of the cities, beloved, and get into the entire country places, country living. We need to have a country, living in the country from outpost centers and evangelize the cities as literature evangelists, medical missionaries, Bible workers, but we do not need to live in the city to try to save the city. We cannot live in the city to save the city. We'll be lost trying to live in the city to save the city. But yes, Sister White does say in last events, she does say to her credit that um, 
Some, some will be in the, city, in the cities um, after the general closure of probation and right during the death decree. She does say many flee during the death decree from the, from the city. She does say that. So that is, that is a prophecy-based argument. Now, beloved, what does he say? Last statement about, about the publishing ministry. Sister White says this. He says the silent messengers, the same angel that, um, that follows the silent messengers on, on the printed page, Sister White's books like this book, Acts of the Apostles. The same um, angel that follows those books followed the, the, the minister. The minister can preach one sermon, the, the bold book to preach 25 sermons within a, within a, within a sitting. And she also says, Sister White, that tithe from the membership should be given to support the solemn messenger in the literature evangelism ministry like myself. So the solid messenger should be paid for and produced, especially now that we have the Review and Herald closed down and um, the Southern Missionary Publishing Association. Uh, the only publishing association in the U.S. that's still open is, is the Pacific Press. But all these publishing associations are closed down. And uh, we only have, really like Jan Markerson in, in the Illinois area, we have Vance Farrell in Bersuba, Tennessee, or um, Harvest Time Books. We have... Um, Tim Holquist at um, Teach Services. We have um, different things like that, but we barely have any conference approved publishing houses, beloved. And it's so sad. Every time I see them, uh, meet a leader, they always ask me, Lucius, where are you getting your books from? Where are you getting your books from? They always, they always want to know where I'm, where, I'm, where I'm getting my literature from. And they don't want to give me their literature, but they want to know where I'm getting my literature from. Beloved, I shouldn't tell them nothing. What are they doing? They're not preaching the word. I'm not trying to be grimy here or be negative here, but they're preaching lies, new theology, sin and the theology. We can't overcome our sins. Christ is not the most holy place. Spiritual is a spiritual formation. Witch doctrine. Now, that's what they're preaching, beloved. New theology, no sanctuary, no heavenly sanctuary message. That's what they're preaching, beloved. Woman's ordination. They always ask me a question. But you see, that's the threefold union that the seven day Adventist church has joined up with, yoked up with, especially since the 70s, in the Fordite theology. And um, many te I was trained by a, st a student of Desmond Ford that actually destroyed AUC. He was up there in the White Estate. He taught me um, fundamental he taught me seven day theology up here at Oakwood, and I passed his class with a, with a barely, barely passing grade of D. So I'm telling you, it is so sad what these leaders are doing. They're teaching lies for doctrines for the commandments of men. Um, most kind of sin father, please save your kingdom without, without the lost one. Let them be saved by reading the Bible in this prophecy for themselves. Let them know that this is, this is a time of prophecy. This is the time of the end. That's why Russia is fighting against Ukraine. And we've evangelized Ukraine in a mighty way in his ass days up until now. That's why um, America is about to come in prosper with troops. And, um, and that's what Daniel 1145 says. And the time of the end, so, 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 so um, the kingdom shall push at him. And the kingdom of the shall come in with, with, with chariots and a whirlwind and a great flood and great army. And that's why we know, dear Jesus, in his last days, as we see Daniel speak, as we see the Revelation speak, as we see prophets speak, as we see these prophets fulfilled, we know that we're in the time of trouble. And, time, and at that time, Sir Michael stand up. And, you're, and Michael is standing up. And just Christ is on prayer. Amen. Mary Nathan, God bless you, family.